What's up everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day. Let's go ahead and get it started. As you know, there are many, many beautiful rivalries here in the FGC. This one has been rumored to be going on ever since the beginning of Street Fighter V itself. And this rivalry is between none other than the almighty Sonic Fox and the almighty Punk the God. Doesn't get much better than that. And what happened recently, a lot of it is, is funny more than anything else, but um, some say that it, it's more than that. You be the judge of that. So Sonic Fox uh, posted just yesterday on Twitter. I guess he went to the barber and he was filling himself. You know what I'm saying? Like we all do from time to time. He posted a picture of his new cut, and then up top he uh, wrote, Fresh Cut. And I'm liking how my sideburns are coming. So, you know, he's, he's uh, proud of his sideburns. I guess he's been growing them out. Simple as that. But then Punk took it upon himself to post right underneath, you look like a bitch. Smiley face. So instantly that got hella retweets, uh, hella likes, hella mixed emotions, you know what I'm saying? Um, and the fact that he posted a smiley face after that might have been harmless, you know what I'm saying? Maybe he was just kind of rubbing it in. I took it as harmless. I really didn't take it as, as you know, meaning something like on the low tier God level, you know what I'm saying? But when this escalated really quick, I guess Sonic Fox did not appreciate that very much because he replied back, at least I ain't cry like a bitch. Which he was referring to Evo. And then and then Punk replies back, damn that hurt, sad face. So instantly uh, people are now getting in the middle of this. Knuckle Dude's like, yo. And then Chris Tartarian is like, yo, damn. That shouldn't have been allowed on Twitter. Um, Alex Valle posted some stuff. Uh, people are just kind of like, damn, like posted a bunch of those emojis and shit like that. So instantly, I mean, uh, shit kind of hit the fan. And some people might take that as, you know, Sonic Fox, that was a low blow. Some people have been posted that was a low blow. But check this out. This is just my opinion on this. Uh, when you call, and this is just Ernesto Lopez school of bitchery, you know, when you call somebody a bitch, they therefore are empowered with the freedom to call you a bitch and any form or fashion that they choose to do that is acceptable because you start the bitchery and therefore they are allowed to continue thus bitchery. So whether it was low blow or not, that was kind of Punk's fault. Then Long Island Joe also posted yesterday something completely unrelated. Uh, he said that uh, he posted this banner saying that Nemo is actually going to take on Punk in a first to 10 at Street Fighter V for $2,000 at the East Coast Throwdown. I think that's dope. I'm always good. To, I'm always down to see like a, a godlike urine player because I just like to see people beat them. Um, but can we get Punk versus Sonic? That's what people want to see, baby, at East Coast Throwdown. Can we get that $2,000 match? And I don't even know if that would be a great match because Punk his main game is Street Fighter. Sonic Fox's main game is not Street Fighter, so maybe that's a little unfair. But on the other hand, if Sonic Fox is gonna talk that shit, you gotta walk that walk, baby. So I would love to see that first to 10. Hell, even a first to five, do something, but I wanna see that grudge match. And as you know, with the new updates, there's actually some new costumes. Um, there's some secret ones as well. Um, thanks to Knuckle Dude, um, he actually created this beautiful new outfit for Gal. Remember, because he won Capcom Cup, Capcom allowed him to design a new uh, costume. Uh, the costume to me is godlike. It actually makes me want to play Guile more. But also on top of that, I noticed that um, I'm still the daddy tweeted the other day. I just woke up to the biggest surprise ever was this made just for me, question mark. This costume is dope as hell. As you know, I'm still the daddy wears the, uh, the little mask over his face on his stream. Um, and then the way you do it is like you do like Urien's speedo thing, same thing while it's after you select them, you're just gonna hold all three punches plus short and then up and then it should pop into this. Um, it has all different colors, of course, and they're dope as hell. This is obviously, hands down, the best gal costume in the damn game. Hands down, you know what I'm saying? So thank you, Knuckle Dude, for that. Apparently, like on the shirt, you could actually see it say Knuckle Dude as well. Now you can't really see it in the game, but if you get the picture and then expand it, you can see it says Knuckle Dude, and that is dope as hell. You know what I'm saying? Like that is the that is the, just like the epitome. That is like the goal for every gamer to have your own name in the game that you love. How dope is that? That's dope as hell, man. 
hands down. So thanks for Knuckle Dude for creating that costume. Thank you guys for watching the video. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about this grudge about uh, Sonic Fox and Punk? I think it's beautiful just because these guys are both, they're both kings um, in their own realm. You know what I'm saying? So I would love to see something. I don't know what can come of this, but I would love to see something come out of this. You know what I'm saying? Just for the FTC, just build the hype. Because there's always, there's always such beauty in the, in the grudge matches. Thank you for watching as always. See you next Wednesday. Peace.